OnSong is designed to be the best app to manage all of your music. The import options in the Songs menu provides many ways to get your music organized. But what if you use a different service on a website that's not listed in OnSong's import options? In iOS 8, we tap into the power of action extensions that let you add music right from the Safari web browser with the Add to OnSong extension. Let's open Safari to view an artist page on the onsongapp.com website. Let's tap on a song inside of Randy Fisher's album, Time With You. As you can see, it's a typical chord chart on a website. Scroll up to review the Safari toolbar and then tap on the share button. Here we could do various things with the web page, like open it in other apps, print it, or bookmark it. Let's swipe to the far right on the bottom and tap more. If you have OnSong 1.993 installed, an add to OnSong option appears. Let's turn that on. You can also rearrange these items to place Add to OnSong at the top. Tap Done, and then tap Add to OnSong. Now let's go back and do that to another song. To access the songs we've just added, open OnSong. OnSong detects that you've added some songs and prompts you before importing. Remember that just because music is on the internet, it doesn't mean that you have the right to use it. Many sites contain potentially copyrighted material for the purpose of advertising revenue. Be sure to read the terms of use on the websites that you visit, as visiting the website alone binds you to their terms of use. For instance, some sites will only allow you to view content on the site or print a single copy for personal use. If you're certain that you can use the core charts, tap Import. OnSong will import the files and then add them to your library. That's the simplicity of the new Add to OnSong extension. If you have any questions, be sure to contact us at support at onsongapp.com. Thanks for watching.